Alrighty, so a long time ago we were on some quests up here at the Banuk encampment and we got uh, some uh, campfires up here. Grave Horde happens to be near one of them so let's go on to this campfire here and we will start going up the Grave Horde. Alrighty. What do we got here? Alrighty, so we are back at the Grave Horde. Where we've got some Flint Hawks flying around. What the heck is going on? Those explosions are not machine driven. Okay, on our way to the Grave Horde. <sighs> Eclipse. I'm not showing any focuses at that location. Shouldn't be anything you can't handle on your own. Carry on. Thanks. On my own, all right. This is useful. Let's see what those machines were fighting now. The Grave Heart and the shadow of a metal devil. Great.
These look like the Muk markings. Is this the way to their territory? So we're just gonna hit this save point here real quick before we go into the uh, Grave Horde. Grapes. Oh, they're inside too. We're going in. That does it. Time to take a look around the room. Well, that was surprisingly easy. Say again, Lieutenant. I got you. Titan is through the defenses. Still on approach. We've got no mobility in here. It'll punch right through us. We hold the hedge at all costs. Then push back out. A battle. Frozen and ice in time. Operation Enduring Victory. What did that mean? Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to have turned out very well. Slept. Like the lodge in Mother's Heart, I guess. Once again, don't kill yourself with the data points. There's um, no achievement or anything. What was this place? The furnishings were metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? It was the metal world. I guess they were used to it. Oof. Just one bed. Maybe their war chief's room. light. Guess that means no power. scanning objects in this area. These wires must run to the power source. Oh, that's informative. So, two up, two down. Three power lines, resources, 
That makes one. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poetry from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations. So, north, east, west, and south. One more. There we go. That's how you get over there without killing yourself. Here we go. Code Nexus. Up, down, left, right. A, B, A, B. Start, select. We can get through. It looks like right next to this uh, equipment crate, we got a handy dandy power cell. I only need one more to get to that ancient armor I found. Bring me that Deathbringer gun. That's how you do it. Oh, I'm only halfway through my clip. Huh. 
Okay, I'm lost. Where do I go? Up there. How do I get up there? Hey, probably like this, huh? Looks like we found the mail room. Eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? The eclipse. Tampering with a metal devil. But they don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out! We can't stay up here on the platform, unfortunately. So we'll have to repel down one of the sides. Hoping to get a few more cultists dead before that happened.
Alright, so this is a little bit of a different battle. No, can't knock it down. We're learning. Alright, that should not have initiated combat, but at least we found out that if you rappel down, it resets combat. Alrighty, so for my weapons, I am going to want... My shadow sling for fire bombs. Probably my blast sling for some good damage. Jesus, I haven't done like shit to this guy.
It's all right. Basically, oops. Queue up your full health potions, which I accidentally drank one that I didn't need to. Um, dodge roll a lot, and shoot his weak points with your with your um, precision arrows. Honestly, it's the best. I tried to do the fire bombs to get him to overheat quicker. I don't really think that worked. I tried the sticky bombs for extra damage, which, I mean, the precision arrow just seemed to do more. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to thank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base? What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. 
The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines, but not before the world she knew. Her civilization ended. Let's hope we won't come to that again. Alrighty, that's not the way down. that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there I'll second that <laughs> 